The NSC, as the central point of maintenance, it is the elephant in the room whenever visiting this sector. According to Arish and documents around the house, the NSC is a power plant that produces all the energy consumed by the Bureau. When pressed on what exactly it was, all Arish would say is that he was instructed to never open the chamber, and that it was classified. With the death of Trench's entire management team, everyone who knows of the plant's true nature is gone. Luckily, there is explicit evidence throughout the game to piece it together. Upon meeting back up with Ati in the janitor's office, Jesse is informed that the Hiss have damaged the power plant. He tasks her with repairing the power converters and coolant pumps, otherwise the whole place would blow. Compared to the other mainline quests, this one seems rather mundane. However, if it were not for Ati insisting on this, the Hiss likely would have succeeded in their corruption of the house. The reasoning for this will be explored later in the video. For now, let's look at the evidence related to the NSC. During the initial conversation, Ati hints that there is someone inside the machine. And the pensioner inside. He started to feel the band around his head tied and Pensioner being an individual who collects a pension. From this comment, we are told that a former FBC agent is inside the plant, and the damaged components is causing this individual to become distressed. If one stays in the office, Ati has a series of idle dialogues. One of them gives more information on this pensioner. Pensioner. Yes. Lord Moore is the director. Started to climb on the walls in his bachelor pad. With this, it is easy enough to make the supposition that Director Northmore is housed within the NSC. This is confirmed if one climbs up on it. One section has an infrared scan of the chamber and the figure inside. Looking up, we learn that the NSC stands for Northmore Sarcophagus Container. The document of the same name can be found in this area. While the occupant's name is redacted, it details the history of Northmore's sarcophagus. Originally designed by Trench after he was promoted, it was intended to be a safe place to house the previous director. At some point in the past, the NSC vanished along with Northmore. Remains of it can be found at the formation in the quarry. Luckily, the Bureau was able to subdue Northmore and designed an upgraded version of the NSC to prevent this problem in the future. After maybe two decades of confinement, the pensioner escaping would be catastrophic. The title of one document is Dynamic Energy Extraction and Conversion. As a power plant, the device is designed to siphon the excess energy output from Northmore and convert it into a usable energy source to power the Bureau. Being self-sufficient with their energy demands gives the FPC two perks. One, they are invisible on the New York City power grid, and two, their energy costs do not need to be reported to the U.S. Treasury Department. By decreasing their budget, it allows the FPC to draw less attention from the federal government. The previously mentioned excess in energy is discussed in the documents found in the Foundation. After the discovery of the oldest house, the service weapon presented itself to Northmore. Ever since then, he tasked the Bureau with uncovering new objects of power at the board's behest. One can assume he bound as many as he could find. Over time, this began to change him. Not just mentally, but physically as well. After being evaluated by a Bureau doctor, multiple abnormalities were uncovered. In one of his comments, it is implied that he has developed into something not entirely human. He writes to the doctor, The board knows what I have become. It appears that housing too much paranatural forces within the body caused a change, and led to his state of containing too much energy. Luckily, technology developed by the Bureau was able to convert this energy. Dr. Ash mentioned his invention of power cores, which are able to convert ambient energy and store it. I can presume this technology was modified for the NSC. One other bit of information we learn is that his body temperature was permanently elevated to unnatural levels. According to the NSC document, the coolant pumps are intended to keep him from overheating while the energy is siphoned away from his body. With this information, it becomes apparent what exactly was at stake when the Hiss damaged the NSC. 
With the energy converters damaged, Northmore's excessive energy could not be properly siphoned, leading to a buildup that would become catastrophic. When the coolant pumps fail, it is logical that he would overheat, leading to anything from extreme agitation to a full system meltdown. This is supported by Ati when he informed Jesse that if these two components were not repaired, the NSC would explode. Just like when NSC-1 vanished to the formation, this meltdown of NSC-2 would release Northmore. With nothing to protect him, he would be susceptible to the Hiss corruption. It is possible this is exactly what the Hiss intended. Their purpose was to infect everyone and make use of their natural abilities to spread further. Some were used for their combat prowess, for their peri-utilitarian tendencies, or as speakers to spread the chant. Northmore would appear to them as the Holy Grail. A hiss infected Northmore with all his power would be devastating. Ati foresaw this danger and tasked his new assistant with making repairs before the worst case scenario could occur. With the NSC repaired, the occupant inside is safe, at least for now. As long as Northmore remains in maintenance, the Bureau is sitting on top of a bomb waiting to go off. It is not a question of if, but when the former director is released. After decades of incarceration and a previous escape attempt, I could only imagine what he thinks about the Bureau now. How the solitude twisted his mind. In the end, a confrontation between these two directors is only a matter of time. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like as it really does help out the channel. If you would like updates on new uploads, feel free to subscribe or follow me on Twitter. Have a good day and peace be with you all.